What it do, what it do, on your boy Goo, what it do, and Mama Goo. And welcome back to the channel. I know you guys read the title of this video, so y'all already know what's going on. We're going to show you how we harvest them, clean them, and cook them. Mama Goo got that thing going on. Tell them about it, Mama. I'm going to harvest them, clean them, cut them up. They're going to be mm mm good. Campbell ain't got nothing on me. None. But like I said, we're going to get right into it. Let's go. I stay charged up, double A in the yo with me right now. Yeah, AO John, hey. pay that spell. I need to speak to Mike Larry. Yeah, you got my name. All right, y'all, now it's time to harvest these greens. You ready, mama? Oh, yeah. Let me whip out these shears and we can get started, you feel me? Yeah! What did I tell you about them shears last time? What's wrong with your hands? Bruh. Ain't nothing wrong with my hand, but I, I was just going to use the shears. No, you wasn't. No, you wasn't. You don't use them when harvesting greens. I told you, there's nothing wrong with your hands. You can go ahead and do what you need to do. All right. L well, let me go in here and just do what I need to do then. Just like that? Just like that right there. Pull it straight up out there? Pull it straight up. Okay. Well, you, you need some more? Cause just, oh, yeah. This is not enough. It's this not is enough? This just the beginning. Oh, let me, well, let me get you some more then. Oh, you just pull it straight up then? Oh, yeah. Just pull it straight Because they're in the bucket, you know. They ain't hurt nobody. Just pull, oh, okay. You're not damaging the soil. Oh, okay. Just like that? Just like that. Oh, okay. You, two on my or you need some more? No, I think one more will be enough for tomorrow. Okay, then follow me over here then. Let's get one more out of this little bed over here. Cause you need one more. Okay. But shoot. Give me that. You say pull it straight up? Pull it straight up. Well, let's just pull it straight up then. As long as you don't damage the soil. Okay. That's it. This is enough for tomorrow. All right, mama. I know you don't like to use shears, but we don't need to be taking this dirt and these roots in the house. Can I use these shears to take this off? Oh, certainly. And just cut it just like this, huh? Just like that. That's Boom. it. Wow. Let me get your. Let me hold this up. Now I'm going to lay one down and hold the other one. All right, cool. Mm. Boom. Yeah. Nah. Hey. Now that looks like a little bouquet, you feel me? Let's get in this kitchen and get started. Yeah. All right, y'all. Yeah, M Mama Gooby going fast. You see how she didn't already de-stem some of these greens. Let her show how quickly it is to de-stem them greens. Show them. Tell them about it. When they already on the stem and in a bunch like this, you don't have to take them all individually. You just grab the um, greens and pull straight up. They're off. You see? Kamari. That's easy. And while she's standing here, she learning. And you go back through. You got any little pieces like that, you can go in, in and get them. Right. Go in and get them and take this and put it in the um, decomposing bin so it makes fertilizer so we can keep the soil rich and keep growing vegetables because times are getting hard, believe it or not. Right, for real. You no go in the grocery store, that shelves are empty. Yeah. Hmm. And, and these collard green stems right here, it, they hold a lot of nitrogen so this is good for the soil if you want to add a lot of nitrogen well not a lot of nitrogen but you want to add some nitrogen to your soil you put this in your decomposing bin let it break down good nitrogen for your soil right now i'm preparing to wash the greens i got my water running in the sink i'm using hot well uh lukewarm water i'm adding my salt and i'm going to add some more salt once i get my water ran in um that should be enough water for my greens. Now I'm taking my greens and I'm going to saturate them in this water. Yeah, get them greens washed up. You yeah. Me? You see, it may not be a lot, but guess what? It makes a meal put a knot in your stomach. And they're not really dirty, so doing this is easy. Some people cut them up first and then wash them. It depends on how big the leaves are. And what I got to work with. So this was easier to get it done this way versus um, these, uh, these, uh, taking them off the stem and then trying to wash them. Now this is good. But I'm going to wash them twice. I already added my salt. If you notice, there is no residue in this water except for green particles. So the greens are real clean. 
Yeah, but I'm gonna wash them again just to be on the safe side. And you know why they clean? Because when I water my plants, I don't have the water splashing all over my leaves. It's, it's, it's a process that when you go out in the garden, you don't splash water all around. So that saves time when it's time to clean your greens. Exactly. So I just add water to the pot. If you ever wash clothes on your hand, this process is just like yes. That. I got you. Up and down. Up and down. You're Who's going them? up, down. <laughs> right, right. Now always use your strainer, so all those particles won't stop up your drain. Yeah, we don't need no, we don't need to call my brother because he a plumber to come out here and unstop the drain. Cause you got collard greens these down there. Right, right, right. Yeah, you see, that's all in there. That's all in there. That was all in there. Yeah. You don't see no sand, no nut, no residue. Nah. But I'm gonna wash them again just to be on the safe side. Oh yeah, we gonna wash them again. They ain't looking good too. Look at that. Now. Cause the dust do fly. The dust fly. And everything. So here yeah. I go with my process again, my hot water. But this time I'm gonna do it a little different. I'm going to go ahead and put my greens in. You put your greens in. What you, what, what you doing now? Just dumping this water out. So you're going to rewash these greens right here? Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. Let's make it do what it do then. You're going to add more salt? Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. I ain't see no bugs or nothing, but that don't make it not be in. Right, right, right. Mm-hmm. See that? Okay. And see when the salt melts from the hot water, if anything on it, it's gonna come off anyway. Right. Yeah. Okay, okay. That's what I'm talking about. Right. No residue. No residue. I'll make it a little easier for myself. I forgot about this this one. Okay, yeah. Oh, yeah. Use your nozzle. Get on, get on. Yeah, if you got this. But if you don't, you still can do it that way. Right. Now, I know these greens clean. Whoops. Well, you know, like to hit the camera, man. You about spray me. I'm so sorry. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so they're going back over in the pot. Yeah. Ain't nothing in this sink. Nothing. Wow. Nothing. No residue. Okay. I rinse it out just... For the sake of it being clean. I'm getting ready to cut up my greens. I try to make sure I use a cutting board. Because my knife is very sharp. And it's easy to cut the tips of your fingers. Mm -hmm. So it helps when you lay your greens the, the same way. Right. And you take them and you roll them. Right. Kamari, I hope you're learning. You see? Okay. I, see I got my knife. Watch this. Mm-hmm. Look like a little sushi roll. Oh yeah. That's how you cut And it it's up. easy. And I try to get them the same uh size. Right. So when you wrap your fork around it, you won't get choke on the cottons. I know that's right. Yeah, look at them collard greens all Oh shot yeah. Up. Straight from the garden. That knife good and sharp too. To the table. You know what yeah. I'm Oh yeah. And when you get almost to the end, you take them and you can put them in your pot. Okay. Get to the end. You can fold it again. Fold it again. Try to make it make it a way where you can cut them. Right. That way you ain't got to worry about your fingers. Right. So there ain't no shoot sushi shelf. So and you ain't gonna see me work that knife too fast. Right. We ain't trying so to now that, that right there, that's good. We ain't trying to go from the garden so going, to the hospital. We trying exactly. To <laughs> you feel I'm me? going for my second row now. If you notice, I'm laying my leaves down. Right. Try to lay them the same way. All right. So mama, check this out. How did you learn how to um, cut up your greens and all this and, and that? How, how did you Watching do that? Watching my grandma, my uh, uh, Annie. My grandma, my Annie, grandma Annie right. could make water taste good. Not water taste water good. Water taste good. Hot water. That's enough. That's what I'm Come talking on. about. She could make water taste good. So she was one of those uh, matriots. And you might have not worked in the kitchen, but you sure watched you. My job was to wash the dishes. Okay. So, in time, I knew I would get the opportunity to start cutting up green. So, right. I would see her shopping that night. See, back then, they had like a file. They didn't have the same kind of tool I used to cut up my greens. I meant to sharpen my knife. Right. So, 
Now, I ain't got to worry about cutting my finger like my grandma did. Grandma used to have tapes on the end of her finger. I'm trying to figure out what grandma cut up her hand. Yeah, because she talking and cutting up her greens and ain't watching what she doing. Mm. And the next thing you know, she done hit her finger. She bleeding, but she didn't. She uh, dried that off, put a band-aid on, and kept cutting. Wow. She didn't let that stop her from cutting up her greens. Right. And you shouldn't let it stop you, but uh, for the beginners and not so pro, ain't no pro at nothing. You got to learn. It's a process. Oh, yeah. And as long as you got your cutting board and slide your fingers back. Mm. And when you get to the end, like I did again, I make sure my hands are out of the way. Right. Because my knife is very sharp. Right, right, And right. see, these these are doable. So I'm getting my next batch. All right, so, yeah. And we're going to show y'all the next process of, after we cut up the greens, what we do next. All right? Yeah. Be right back. Ooh, look at these greens, man. Mama did her thing. She didn't cut them up. They're ready to get stewed down. You know what I'm saying? She's going to do her thing, man. Y'all check out this next process. All right, y'all. We got these cream, greens chopped up and these pigtails screaming to get inside them. So the greens are already ready from where I had already prepared them. Now I'm getting ready to clean these pigtails to stank up these grains. Alright, let's do it. Okay. Take this a different pot. You got all this extra on him. Right. But then too, I like the um the kids ain't gonna eat it when they see these little old tails right here. <laughs> but this is basically for flavor. Right. See all this residue be on that pigtail? Right. Look at that. You got to wash them off now. You can't just tuck them in your greens without washing them because people that cut up stuff, hands might not be clean either. Right, right, right. So, so you wash them pigtails and yeah. get all that residue off of them. And them hand press. Right, right, right. We're gonna do it again. Until we so, 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 are there um, different kind of meats or non meats you can put into your Yeah, greens? yeah. You got vegans that eat greens and they don't use this. You got people that use. They like. I like smoke flavor because it adds flavor to the greens, the smoked meat. Okay. But some people use fresh pigtails, so it has a different taste. Right. And you people use pigtails, they use neck bones, they use smoked turkey, whatever you want to put in it. Some people put bacon, some people use uh, uh, vegetarian bacon. It has the same flavor, okay. but a whole different taste. Okay. And it makes a difference. One more time. Because you want these uh, puppies not to be messing up your greens. Right. You want them to be clean. And this is my third washing. Right. With these uh, pig tails. The pig ain't happy, but I'm going to be happy. I know that's right. <laughs> yeah. Once they get in them greens, boy, they're going to dance, 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 dance all, all day. Night. <laughs> all night. Oh, that's a good day. It's <laughs> For real. That's it. So. so what's the next step at the end? And wash them and clean them real good. Put a little water. Put a little water. Because you know about greens, they make their own water because it's a vegetable. Right. That's enough water. So, going to transport the greens into these pigtails. Okay. And they're going to cook together like they go together. Yeah, we're wasting them green. We ain't got no green to be wasted. Oh, trust me. Uh -huh. The only one's going to get wasted is the one I'm going to eat in my mouth and I'm going to be green wasted. Okay. So okay. so you done covered the uh, pigtails with some green. So uh, what, what what are you doing here? I see two pots. So how you okay. Got? As these cook down, I add more. Oh, okay. Because greens make it on water. And at the end of the process, all these going to be in there along with the meat. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. So, I'm going to add a little bit of this. What's, and, and what's that? That's a little Lowry. A little Lowry. Now, this is how I cook mine. Everybody don't cook them the same way. So, you know, to each his own. And, and, and what's the measurement on that? They put a little dash in there. You know, I'm, I'm sorry. I ain't measured nothing. You ain't measuring nothing? Just one time. 
This a little dash of Larry. Yeah. Okay. Try not to use too much salt because uh the pigtails, but <laughs> hey, just a dash of salt. Watch this. That's it. Okay. And that dash showing up was a dash. And now I put a third of a cup of cooking oil from where I fried like chicken. And I add that to my greens. Okay. Okay? Yeah. And the last and final ingredient that I put in this pot is a little sugar. Because some greens are bitter. And us Floridians love the taste of sweet and a little salt together. Mm -hmm. It really uh, enhances the flavor. Right. Yeah. Before I get put this on the fire. Right. Now it finna. Make it do what it do. Yeah. Get another handful of greens. Get them close as I can together. Put them. Get another hand of greens. Put them. Another hand of greens. Put them. Mm. So now all I got to do now is turn on the stove. Let like on medium heat, not too high. You don't want uh, your pot cooking over. Right. Add your top and as it cooks down you yep. add the rest of the greens okay well we'll be back in a couple minutes and see how this is doing and see what we need to add more greens to the pot we'll be right back with you oh these greens cooking down now this is what i like to see look at them oh look at that smoke can't y'all smell them Mm. Mm. jesus jesus if jesus. they can't smell them i sure can all right now i'm gonna add the rest of these greens we're good. They're going to cook down. But one thing about vegetables, that people, they can drown them, but they make their own water. Yeah, because I remember you only put a little bit of water in there. Oh, yeah. Put all that water. They had the greens swimming. Greens don't have to go swimming because I didn't clean them. Right. See? Take your spoon. Make sure they ain't running all over your stove. Look at that. You seen all them greens? Right. People are like, you need a bigger pot. And then when they finish cooking, they got a half a pot of greens. And they're trying to figure out, why ain't got but a half a pot of greens? Because the greens make their own water. Right. Now, I sure thought you needed another pot, but. No, I know. You, you showed me. They all going to fit in that one pot after they start cooking down. Look at this. They already in there. Wow. Ah, voila. Voila. We're going to let them do what they do. Goo. All right, so stay tuned. We'll be right back with you. This is Sunday morning. We back in our greens before I go to the church floor. And this is what we find. Boy, don't that look good. Oh, my God. Now I can stir the pigtails. Oh, boy. Look at them. Mm -mm -mm. They ready. Almost. Almost ready. You see, they cook down to just greens. No water added. The meat is done. You see how it falling good, falling off the bone? Them pigtails ready. That's it. That's it. That's it. Mmm. Yeah, I see that too. So what, what you got going on in this? this gonna thing? do this in a flapjack. I got some cornmeal. So what all go on this flapjack cornmeal? Okay, you get you get a cup of regular cornmeal that you can make bread with, and if you want to add some jiffy, get a cup of jiffy. Cut up your scallions. Uh -huh. Two eggs. Evaporated milk. Don't need no salt and don't need no pepper. Mm. Wow. So, so we're going to see what this flapjack cornbread do. We'll be right back with you. I told you it ain't no cornbread, son. It's, it's cornbread. Cornbread. We'll be right back with the cornbread. Get your bread ready because the grease hot. Okay. Flapjack cornbread. Now you don't want to put too much. And them onions just stank it up with them greens. Mm -hmm. I know y'all seen them greens when they got ready. 
Well, look at him. You can put at least four little heels up in here. This is enough sugar to make eight. Eight little cornbread patties. Uh, Black Jack cornbread. Black Jack cornbread. Look at them green. Look, look, look how them, them tails are set up in them greens and just show that. Mm, mm, mm. All, All right. right. I'm finna get ready to flip that Black Jack cornbread. Mm, I see. Okay. Look like a little pancake. Yeah. Yeah. Pancake with onions. Onions. I keep saying cornbread. It's cornbread. Cornbread. Put some stank on it. Yeah, stank on it. It's looking good. I can't wait to eat. I don't know about y'all. I'm ready mm. to eat. Mm. You. Mm mm mm. Yes, sir. Shut them on green again. Look at that. Mm. Imagine that. Jesus. Just, just, just show me what you're working with. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -hmm. Get Love green. these greens and cook down. Got me a piece of this flapjack cornbread. I ain't gonna eat a lot now. Don't get me wrong. I'm a big one, but I'd have been minimizing. I lost a little weight. Well, you didn't lost about 30, 35 pounds. No, bro, you got it wrong. It's 42. You better, 42? You better count your numbers. I know that's right. This is it. That's it. Get it. Mm-mm-mm. Mm-mm-mm. Mm -mm. Lord, I can't, I can't wait to eat myself. Straight out the garden. Straight out the garden. Straight out the garden. Mm-mm-mm. Look at that plate. Mm-hmm. Y'all, please subscribe to our video. And, and let us know whether you like it or not. You know, help us to grow. The more we grow, the more people we can help. Right. Um, if you gardening with me and I'm gardening with you, we need to keep gardening with. Gl 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 <laughs> Go ahead and say it. <laughs> if you gardening with me and I'm gardening with you, we gonna keep on gardening and keep gardening with goo. I know that. <laughs> Oh, them greens mm. look good. Man, put your you, know, you, you know you country, boy. You ain't got no okay. fork, no nothing. You don't need that. You got your fork and your spoon right here. All you need is your mouth. <laughs> Make sure y'all like, share, and subscribe to the channel. <laughs> I love you guys. Hey. We finna eat. I don't need no fork. All I need is a napkin and a good thing, a cup of water. I put a little hot sauce on there. I don't cook with peppers and stuff because everybody don't eat peppers and stuff. But I'm finna chow down. This is my fork and this is my spoon. You gardening with goo, I'm gardening with you. Clee! <laughs>